okay good evening friends today we are discussing about ad hoc reports <coughs> how to create ad hoc reports and why ad hoc reports are useful to the end users here we should know why the ad hoc reports ad hoc reports are useful to um, giving the information in dynamically to the end user that means in dynamically giving the reports to the end user first of all we should know how to create ad hoc reports okay mm, go to file menu edit script i am taking a new tab ad hoc to here already i was created one but i am giving from scratch level okay okay here we have table files go to table files ad hoc new ad hoc ad hoc file queue documents okay open this is the file it should be loaded from ourselves open here we don't have the write uh, information of uh, field names that's why taking embedded labels that's fine sales person country city product sales like that okay finish here one table will be loaded okay i am giving the table name like mm, sales table now want to load some other tables through inline okay load line here already i have created yeah i was narrate this one dimension limits i am giving the table name as dimension limit dimension dimension list that means load star in line this a uh, inline load statement dimension is the field name that means percentage of dimension is the field name and these are the fields these are the data okay the second one is loading loading the list of expressions expression list load star in line expression name total sales order count average sales now i am loading the data reload here we see connecting to rajas okay sales new ad hoc ad hoc file 52 lines fetched dimension list one table four lines fetched expression list here i want to see one more concept go to edit script trace t r a c e trace loading table of loading table sales sorry loading sales table loading sales table at the same way here i am giving trace loading mm. 
dimension table at the same way the third one is trace loading loading expression table yes now we want to reload why this trace function is useful if we want to know which table is loading <coughs> here we see loading sales table loading dimension table under the same way loading expression table which table we should know <coughs> which table was loading which table is loading okay press okay here we want to <coughs> sorry go to chart we want to create a stride table go to chart take a stride table next now uh, we want to give the uh, dimensions list like city country order sorry product sales person okay next go to expression tab sum of sales okay add another one sum of orders sum of orders okay the third one is average average means sum of sales by sum of orders sum of sales by sum of orders here we should know the i am giving the expressions uh, labels sum of table sum of sales means total total sales sum of orders means total orders sum of sales by sum of orders means average okay i am giving the labels total sales as total sales order count as sum of orders as order count average sales, uh, sum of sales <coughs> sum of sales by sum of orders is equal is as average sales okay go to back here i want to give the conditional add calculated dimension uh, enable conditional here we want to give the condition that equal to alt of wild match get selected count sorry get field selection give the dimension percentage of dimension comma logical or comma asterisk of which field name city city comma zero copy this one press ok then go to country field name field name country enable conditionally open it one and control v paste here want to change the field name country like this give the four fields like this okay i am giving the same city city country product 
cells like this and the same way go to next expression tab here also we have to give the conditional that equal to same like that alt of wild match of get selected sorry get field selected field selection here want to give the expression expression name comma logical or comma and comma pivot al so total sales comma zero copy this one and give the three like this okay here i, I have uh, i have given total sales order count average sales then go to next button here the presentation you give the horizontal next want to give font size like 12 layer top finish okay here after creating the uh, stride table want to load list boxes want to create list box like dimensions okay want to give label give label dimension list okay at the same way one more thing expression expressions list okay here presentation box go to presentation box led check box font size bold 12 apply properties bold 12 apply presentation go to led check boxes apply okay want to give the city wise average sales want to give the font size 12 16 fit to column data okay this is the ad hoc reports like giving the reports in dimensional model to the end user want to give the country wise city wise average sales okay and the same way product wise average sales bricks broad widgets vogels and the same way order count product wise order count and the same way order count at the same way product wise total sales that means product wise total sales giving the city wise product wise total sales city wise product wise total sales this is the ad hoc reports to giving the data in dimensional model to the end user it is a very useful feature in click view to giving the dimensionally reports to the end user thanks for watching